The thing about the style of attack is that once again, all it takes is a Wi-Fi signal and a smartphone. It's something that you can literally do from anywhere. That's why I caution people when they announce that the end, that the end, of, the, uh, the end of ISIS is near. The end of the territorial caliphate is certainly on the horizon, but that doesn't mean the end of the digital uh, caliphate. I wanted to show you quickly some of the loopholes that ISIS is using to abuse social media platforms and to get out their message. Um, back in 2013 and 2014, their main watering hole was Twitter. Twitter, like many companies in Silicon Valley, was slow to respond to the problem. When they started suspending accounts, ISIS quickly uh, found shortcuts around them. They simply opened a new account and used the VPN to hide their IP address so that Twitter couldn't block them. I'm going to show you an example of um, the, the al Itisam account. Um, sorry, I think I skipped that slide. The al Itisam, Itisam account was a famous account that ISIS used to have. It had 50,000 followers before it was suspended. Um, the next day, it came back up. Uh, within hours, it had about 20,000 followers. And all they did is changed a couple of characters in their, um, in their handle, um, and, and, they were, and they were up again. At a certain point, Twitter did get serious about suspending these accounts. Um, and at that point, it became basically a game of whack-a-mole with, uh, with, these, with these Twitter profiles. This account here um, is uh, the, um, the account of a guy called Aswarti. He also goes by Turchman. We, again, we have no idea who he really is. Um, he began uh, putting the number, you see 260 up there, the number of his account in order to basically thumb his nose at Twitter and basically say how many times he'd been sus suspended. This is his 260th. This is his 411th account. This is his 600th account. I stopped counting uh, around 700. Um, in, uh, in the spring of 2015, uh, a study that was done by Brookings estimated that there were up to 70,000 uh, ISIS Twitter accounts. This is in 2015. Since then, I've heard from sources uh, near Twitter that the, that the company has suspended around 900,000 uh, suspected terrorist accounts, um, which is, of course, not even getting uh, all of them. So you have a sense of how big this problem is. But I will give it to Twitter. They have gotten better about these suspensions. And by 2016, um, the group was migrating to another platform, to Telegram. Telegram is, uh, was, was created by a Russian inventor. Um, it has an encryption feature, an encrypted feature, so you can do encrypted chats uh, with people. Um, and the problem has actually become, I would say, much greater uh, now. Telegram, unlike Twitter, is not searchable. In order to be, to be invited into the rooms where ISIS members congregate, uh, you need to have what's called the Telegram key. The Telegram key is something like this. Okay, it's basically a string of gibberish, and this key was one that I was sent literally on the drive here to Maine. Um, it's, it's, uh, uh, they're creating these keys on the order of, of, I would say, several dozen a day, creating new rooms and populating the rooms with their, with their supporters. Um, once again, you see the URL uh, at the top. Um, it's become much more difficult uh, for uh, law enforcement officials to track them because once they go into these rooms, ISIS is able to identify the people that, that appear to be the most interested in, um, in doing attacks. They then invite them to do a one-on-one -on -one chat, encrypted, and from there, they, they leave Telegram and start going to a host of other encrypted uh, uh, platforms, Wicker, Kick, Threema, et cetera. Um, I wanted to just show you a video that was shot by, uh, by the, the, the researcher Michael Smith. Um, this shows the Telegram platform um, inside his computer uh, so that you can see a, um, a sense of how many of these, uh, of these channels there are. Here on the left side, all of these are, are ISIS Telegram channels. Um, and you're just going to, he's just going to walk us through them. This thing in blue here, these, this is the Amok uh, news agency. It's ISIS's news agency. Every one of those is for an attack. This is ISIS's newsletter. This is a video showing uh, Abu Muhammad al adnani their spokesman. More channels. The Adam channel is a really famous one. Uh, they're promoting a car ramming that happened in Europe. They're showing where it happened. And of course, this is a trailer for one of their execution videos. So let me just leave you with this. Um, the territorial caliphate is indeed ending. Uh, it's very unclear how we're going to harness the digital caliphate. 
This picture was created uh, by ISIS supporters and it was archived by the site intelligence uh, community. I think that you recognize the Twitter birdie and I think the message here is clear. Instead of its trademark blue, the Twitter symbol is now dressed in the black flag of the Islamic State and it's flying off, carrying with it ISIS's message of violence and hate. Thank you so much. <laughs>